we're going to brute force a password. Um, so let's say we have this uh, crypt module that contains functions such as decode, the letters, and the function to test whether a text is good, um, which basically just checks whether my name is present in that, in that um, file. So we, you know, we load the, f the secret message, and then we simply test every combination of five letters, uh, we decode the password, then we check whether it's good. And if it is, then we print out, uh, we found the password, so we just uh, build it up as a string, and then we print it out saying we found it. You know, this is very simple, very direct. Um, and so let's just run it and see how long it takes, actually. Um, so since it takes a bit of time, I'm going to cheat on the video, and I'm going to fast forward time a bit. So here I cut out a bit of video. And... It should also be obvious that you know we're not taking advantage of the fact that this machine I'm running on has actually has two processors. So it took about 14 minutes to do this, a bit over. Um, so we can do jug, can use jug to do this. So we open this file. Uh, it does not need to be called jugfile.py, although in general we do call it jug. So here we're just writing, uh, write, writing Python code. So we've imported this task generator, and but other than that, the code looks very similar. Um, in fact, normally I would have started from the other file and edited, uh, but in this case, I'm just showing you that you know this really is Python code. You know, I read read in a file. I call the pre-processing. The only difference now is that I'm going to have to write all of these um, tasks as functions, and I use this task generator, decorator. But other than that, so here is a function that takes a password and and that attempts to decrypt the code, um, the cipher, using that password. So, and then if the text is good, then again, you build up the, build up the string and then returns it instead of printing it out. Um, so it, it's a, it is a bit different from what we wrote before, but the structure is very much the same. So, and then for every possible password, um, we are going to call this function. So this is actually not a very good structure because this would involve how many decryption calls. So let's just do the math here. So import the letters. So, you know, 26 letters, those are actually English uh, lowercase letters. And so those, oops, 11 million. So it's a bit too much. We don't want our tasks to be 11 million very, very short tasks. So here's actually a nice technique is so we're going to, to group that as as instead of, so the decrypt function is going to test every password that starts with a certain prefix. Um, so we build up, so it takes a prefix and then we, we concatenate it with, with all possible suffixes and we return a list of all the heads that we got for that suffix. Okay, so now we, so now we, oh, here's a little bit of imports that we need and now we're going to iterate not over all letters but only over Let's say one letter, for example. So, so here, so we call, so we build up this list for all possible, so all possible suffixes, and then just for convenience, we can have this function join that joins all the partials. So this is a bit clever. That's a bit of clever code, a bit too clever, too clever, uh, but it fits on the screen. So. So again, this is if we took out this task generator decorator, we could run this as a Python script in a very, very, um, very standard Python. But when we run it in Jug, the tasks actually get handled a bit differently. So we can just see the status, and now nothing's been run. There's a couple of tasks ready, but nothing's been run. And now if we call execute, oops, there's been a mistake. Um, okay, this is actually a bug in the code. Let's go and fix it. The script takes a list or any sequence. Now we can execute it, um, see the status. Now there's the decrypt. You can see that there's two uh, tasks that are running and only 24 are ready now. So let's you know wait six minutes. I'm cheating on the video here again. Okay, six minutes are over. Let's see how things look. Oops, 18 functions, 18 tasks are finished. And uh, so there's progress. Let's wait two more minutes. And those are the tasks finishing now. And so now if we, we can initialize uh, the jug the jug system and simply import the import the jug file as a standard Python, the 
and the full results don't look very good but if we look at the results um, module then that's the actual results and there's actually so there's one in there I'm not going to show you what it is so there's actually if you look there's this jug data directory with all these funny files but somehow jug took care of them and all of these files are part of the jug distribution which you can download from the jug web page from the python package index or from github thank you